channel the Grown learning hub in this today's video we are going to discuss about an amazing amazon opportunity that is amazon machine learning summer school this is very very useful for the students who are very aspiring to learn machine learning and this is powered by the top company i mean like uh, top educational brand scalar and this application deadline is 31st of july almost seven to eight days are only there for the application so right after this video go to the website or link which i am giving in the description and click on the application button okay now uh, shortly let us uh, go through into all these topics and after that let us see how we can apply also i'll take and go to you the google forms and i'll show how to apply also don't worry here they gave clear steps for you by 31st of july you have to apply and selection starts from 3rd august it means after three days of your applying selection would be started and after four days of selection process you'll get short shortlisting email or you'll get shortlisted okay and the program starts on 9th august 2025 what's about this program this amazon ml summer school aims that uh, students should learn ml skills which is first step to become job ready in the career of machine learning if you have a very strong aspire that you have to learn ml this is the best platform to learn please go ahead i guess only 3000 uh, vacancies are there to learn from the top um, uh, educational uh, teachers like this okay so hurry up and go and apply and let us uh, discuss about a few things about the program schedule uh, if you got shortlisted for the specific ml program uh, you have to listen uh, from morning 9 am to afternoon 1 pm and also 1 pm to 2 pm and uh, question and answers with uh, the specific mentors with 2 to 5 means complete from 9 to evening 5 you have to available and you have to be clear with them uh, this would uh, go till 8 modules means 8 days I guess this would be uh, uh, this lectures would be uh, for 2 days for a week 9th August 10th August and next 16th and 17th August 23rd and 24th 30 and 31st maybe Saturday and Sunday they have been planned so please uh, make everything environment perfect to listen all these things yeah now all these people are who are there over here all these people would teach us machine learning see me amazon ml school 2025 tutors all these uh, people would be going to teach us okay now frequently asked questions are what is selection criteria after uh, you are filling the uh, registration form part a means first selection process would be you will get 20 mcq questions based on machine learning concept and math fundamental topics such as probability statistics and linear algebra after this part b consists of two programming questions overall test duration would be 60 minutes okay you can score this very easily it's very simple and what is eligibility criteria for enrolling in ml only 2026 2027 graduates are allowed means uh, btec third year and fourth year students are allowed do not uh, they who are 2022 I mean like second year or uh, first year students are not eligible or after graduation students also not eligible are sorry means if you are doing an internship in amazon or in past you have done you are also eligible for this and what is the program schedule 
I already showed to you 9th, 10th, 16th, 17th, 23rd, 24th, 30th, 31st of August will be program is contained. Okay, or conducted. Amazon ML Summer School will be held virtually in 2025. Means like in which mode means offline or online? Completely it's virtual. They have clarified in that. Is there any registration course fee? No, there is no registration course free. You can uh, go and apply this for free of cost. Can I change my test slot? No, you will not be allowed to change. Can I start the test anytime between this slot? Means uh, if, if you have, uh, I mean like here what's the uh, question is, can I start my test between any time of the time slot let me tell an example over here which they gave for example if the test has been you the selected slot is 9 a.m to 10 a.m you have joined at 9 30 a.m then exam would be uh, until the 10 a.m itself means uh, whenever you join between 9 to 10 you are going to finish your exam at 10 exactly the one hour time would not be extended uh, for whenever you are joined okay what happened if I accidentally end test? Uh, your test will be marked as completed and you won't be able to reattempt for this test. Please remember this. Will I able to give a sample test to understand difficulty pattern? Yes, once you complete the registration form, you receive an email with a sample test with a similar pattern on difficulty. Okay, please feel um, very happy to answer all these. Uh, uh, I my uh, suggestion is you have to take this uh, sample exam you will get email it seems so you go and you write for once after that you can take the actual exam how many uh, members will be shortlisted after the exam only the top 3000 students from the exam after verifying the documents submitted only 3000 students are eligible so please be aware of that and please pay attention in the exam and write properly this is the best opportunity okay you can select easily if you have that interest and if you have that commitment okay okay now let us see how to apply for this if i click on apply button you can see uh, we will get like this we are getting a, a simple form like this let me explain each and every step of this form okay after over here first you have to give a secondary email address over here means uh, if you if the first email is uh, not uh, reachable they will reach in the second email address and you have to fill your full name as per your college record means uh, once see your id card how the name over there first name last name or last name or first name in the same pattern you have to enter the name also do not do any mistake over here and select the gender and after that here you have to uh, select your college name if college name is not available please select other college and here or down you can fill your college name okay and here you have to fill the highest level of uh, your qualification like phd m tech b tech masters by research integrated masters be etc okay now uh, here year highest year means you are second year third year fourth year or fifth year mostly second and fourth year students only are filling so you people are only eligible you uh, expected year of graduation if you are 20 uh, i'm third year you have to click on 2027 if you are fourth year students you have to click on 2026 now um here we have to select a ml domain where we have a bit of explosion okay and over here you have to uh, describe about most detailed i mean most recent project about ml if you have not done any project on ml please fill nil means please fill nil nil that's it and over here have you published any papers in the ML? 
if s please share the details if you have published any blogs or papers on machine learning then only you can able to fill over here if you doesn't make it live or you doesn't pre pre print that please don't mention okay and this is the main part they are uh, verifying whether you are third or fourth year or you are applying in second year or after graduation means you have to fill your id card i mean uh, keep the photo of id card you have to keep both front of id card and back of id card also over here in the first um, uh, here we have to fill like front side of your id card you take a photo and you have to upload remember only photos are allowed pdfs are not allowed do not uh, convert into pdf and after that do not upload like that okay means front side of your id card should have your graduation for example id card uh, doesn't have any graduation year in case of id card does not have a graduation year you have to submit the letter of admission from your college as a proof in both front and back in the fields of front and back of id card got clarity you have to if your id card doesn't contain any graduation year then you have to submit letter of admission from your college okay now back side of id card in the back side of id card for example it's blank if your id card is blank and nothing you may upload the same image again means you can upload the same front uh, of your id card again pdf is not allowed as already told and here mark sheet this mark sheet should contain our full name our college name our branch and our degree name okay and uh, what if we uh, if you don't have any mark list latest mark list if you are recent semester grade sheet is not available please upload the most recent one you have means overall mark sheet is not available please upload the third semester's mark list or first semester mark list like that you can upload anything it, this is just for verification pdf is not allowed again they are uh, they mentioned over here and now happily you can submit yes that's all for this video guys hope you like this video if you like please 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 consider subscribing this channel if you have any type of doubt please leave a comment i'll uh, try to answer all of your comments i'll be more than happy to answer all of your comments that's it for this video hope for the best bye bye see you in the video videos see you in the video soon bye bye